What type of a kid is Timmy Byerly? Um, really, well, just in short, he's a really good kid. Um, does everything you ask him to. Um, he's really personal. He's a funny kid. I mean, he's, you know, aside from being a fan of the team, you know, all the guys rally around him, except he's just funny. He's a jokester, probably team clown, one of the team clowns. Uh, that's part of the reason why he's he's fun to be around when he rehabs, because he, he just has all these little nuances and jokes that he says all the time. But really family oriented. He loves his family. He talks about his parents and his brothers all the time. Um, down to earth, humble. Uh, they really have a big ego. He's not one of those one of those type of kids. Um, and just really seems to enjoy life. You know, everything that he does, really positive. That first night, I was I was I was a mess. I called my parents, and um, it surely wasn't anything like we all expected. Cause that was like the first big injury that's ever really happened to me. And but you know, I woke up the next morning, and I I got a lot of stuff going for me. You know, being here at Tech, graduating in December, and just having all that to focus on has been probably the biggest help in this entire process. I think just with that kind of injury. You definitely have to move through it. You have to process it. You know, there's different stages of coping, and, and there's definitely that stage of, again, with everything, knowing who he is, what kind of kid he is, and then you know how he is on a daily basis, and you see him go through that kind of rough spot. It's, it's hard, hard to see, and then on our end, that's that's what we really try and pick him up a little bit and be that positivity where it's lacking. Uh, but he's come out of that really, really fast. Uh, again, I think it was, I think there were a day or two where he was really bad, and then the next three or four days was trying to figure out what he was going to do and his options, and so that clouds your mind a little bit. And then after that, he's just been really, really positive. I came to Georgia Tech with no scholarship. I didn't have my own locker, um, and I probably played more than I probably thought I would. And you know, I didn't come to Tech strictly for football by any means. I knew I didn't have an NFL career. Um, and so I'm at peace just with, I feel like I was a main contributor to the team and I feel like I was a pretty good teammate over the past you know, four and a half years. So regrets, no. Ooh. You know, the frustrating most part is when you're just a voice. Um, There's nothing you can really do to help the team out other than just stand there. And I think he embodies it fully uh, to, to how I perceive Georgia Tech, which is you have really, really intelligent kids coming coming to this school. And then one, he's a great athlete, pretty good athlete, great athlete. Um, and you mix those two together with his with his personality. That's that's the kind of environment that I think the school thrives in and attracts those kind of kids. And where you get a good education, but you also become a better person. Uh, and that that's what I want to be a part of, you know, uh, or be around and be able to kind of feed off of that. It's just good people, um, a good environment, and kind of this. I like to think of it as a family, a family-esque feeling that we create around here. Um, he, he definitely fits right into that.